Good morning. It's November 7th today, and we're in Hebrews chapter 8. And again, the argument here being made is that Jesus is superior to the Old Covenant, the Mosaic Covenant, and he serves in a temple not made by human hands, but one that is eternal up in the heavens. It's actually the one that is copied by the one that is on earth. He's going to get to that in this section here. And so Jesus's um, ministry is a better ministry because it is the eternal ministry. It's not corrupted by things of the earth. It isn't something that has to be repeated over and over again. Um, it is able to take care once for all of our sin. And then um, something that I think is important to realize here too is obviously this book is written to Hebrews, those who have been practicing Judaism for quite some time, and it's going to be, if it isn't already, impossible for them to continue to um, practice Judaism. Um, so if he's writing before 70 AD, then he's writing in a time when the temple is about to be destroyed. If it's after 70 AD, then the temple has already been destroyed. And either way, it puts them in a bind, because if they're no longer able to offer the sacrifices required by the Mosaic Covenant, then there's no way to cover for sin. Um, Judaism will, of course, change after 70 AD, and they'll come up with other ways to atone for sin. The biggest way will be um, obeying the, the commandments of the law, um, memorizing and, and putting those into practice, and um, spending a lot of time with God in Scripture. Uh, nothing wrong with that, but it doesn't cover sin um, according to the Old Covenant. And so um, there has to be something that takes the place of that. There has to be something to atone for sin. And that's why Hebrews is written to say that Jesus can atone for sin uh, forever. Uh, we don't need to offer the sacrifices continually at the temple. In fact, they're, they're no longer uh, of any value whatsoever. So Hebrews chapter 8 says this, Now the main point of what we are saying is this, we do have such a high priest who sat down at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in heaven and who serves in the sanctuary, the true tabernacle set up by the Lord, not by a mere human being. So the temple that God um, has in heaven is the one where Jesus serves and he is able to sit down there because the sacrifices have already been offered. Um, there's That has been done away with. The system is already uh, obsolete because Jesus has offered that once for all sacrifice in the the, the permanent tabernacle in heaven. And so that's good news for us. It's good news for the Jews as well. They don't have to worry about whether their sins can be atoned for, even with the lack of a physical temple here on earth, because Jesus has done it once for all.